Hi, I'm Dr. Craig Goodmurphy, Anatomy Guy, and now we're going to review some of the things you should have noted in your superficial shoulder and breast dissection. Now what you can see here, we've done the skin cuts to show the reflections of the breast. Mr. Big Hands is outlining those. In one breast, we went around the areola and did a skin-only dissection as you reflect that skin back. You should see that all of the breast is a superficial fatty tissue of modified sweat glands. Then when you look at the other side, we've hemisected the breast. You can see we've gone right through the nipple. Up in this area here, you can see the nipple with the areola, which has a slightly different pigmentation. Then you're going to scrape out some of the fat in this area to see the lobulation and some of the suspensory ligaments of the breast. All of which, again, is superficial. The intercostal nerve 4 is what's coming to supply the sensation to the breast. And the uh, positioning of the breast, should it be anywhere from the second rib down to the sixth rib, though gravity will take its effects during a lifetime. Now we're going to reflect this out of the way to see some of the muscles of the anterior shoulder. The first muscle we saw once we reflected the superficial fascia was the pectoralis major, which has a costal component, sternal components, and then a clavicular component, all of which head out laterally, spiraling around, becoming tendinous, and inserting into the bicipital groove. Once this is reflected laterally, you'll see the deeper muscles, which are the fibers of the pectoralis minor attaching from ribs two through five. Up on the medial side of that, you can see the neurovascular bundle that we saw going into the pectoralis major and seen up here as we cut away. The medial pectoral nerve coming off this body wall laterally is going to be in association with the lateral pectoral nerve medially. We cut those and reflected them to see the pectoralis minor. We'll cut this muscle away at the beginning of the upper limb. But then we went down and we wanted to see the serratus anterior muscle, which we saw posteriorly. And here you can see the serrations of those muscles. Remember, this muscle is going to stabilize the scapula and help with scapular rotation. And here you can see a couple of those fingers or serrations of that muscle. This muscle is innervated by the long thoracic nerve. C5, 6, and 7 will fly you to heaven, which is a way to remember that if this nerve is knocked out, you're going to have a winging of the scapula because the inferior angle will no longer be stabilized against the thoracic wall. You may see a couple of the anterior intercostal vessels coming through the anterior chest wall. Remember the lymphatic drainage of the breast. It's a great time to look at this. About a quarter of that breast is going to drain medially, but three quarters of that breast is going to drain laterally with lymphatics. And clinically, that's going to be an important factor for you to understand when you talk about breast cancers and metastases of those cancers. The other thing that we were able to do for the first time was look at a superficial vein. Here you can see the cephalic vein running in the deltopectoral triangle, diving through the clavipectoral fascia into the axillary vein. And the reason we keep this vein is, one, it's clinically important because of the blood draws and the things that you'll be putting into it as a clinician, but also because as a superficial vein, it does not have an accompanying artery with it that has the same name, whereas all of the deeper veins that we'll run into will have accompanying arteries with them that have the same name. Oftentimes, especially in the limbs, they'll start to duplicate, so it can actually make your dissection easier if you pull out some of those veins along the way but do not pull out anything that's superficial, including this cephalic, which we followed out to the arm. We'll save that for the upper limb. That's been the review for the anterior thoracic wall and the shoulder, along with the breast. And we'll see you next time on The Anatomy Guy.